The distraction is real, man. The distraction is real. Check it. So Houston just got hit with a hurricane, a massive hurricane, right? You see Houston on the news. Houston, Texas, flooded. Remember this. Houston is one of those states that, not Houston. Houston is a city. Texas is one of those states that, that state has a lot of illegal immigrants, okay? Florida is bracing for a Category 5, 4 to 5 hurricane right now, the strength of which has never hit or has not hit in over how many years? I believe it's been two decades. So they're bracing and they're afraid right now in Florida. Hurricane on that coast, hurricane on that coast. The people are discombobulated. They don't know what the hell's going on. They're trying to brace themselves so they don't end up underwater like Houston did. And in the meantime, President Trump comes out and says, the Dreamers program is going to be canceled. He wants to do away with the program that protects 800,000 children. Wow. Let's talk about it. Welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Watch this. Today we're doing a in-the-vehicle vlog. Not driving, about to go to the gym, but I have to do that one here phone real quick. So keeping you up to speed with what is going on in the beautiful land of the United States of America concerning immigration. Pay attention. All right. This headline says that Trump administration announces the end of immigration protection program for DREAMers. A lot of you are saying, what the hell is DREAMers? Okay, so under Obama administration, they came up with this program that would protect children. Now, this is a very sticky, sticky, sticky part. Watch this. They came up with a program that would, let me adjust this, adjust this look a bit. Under the Obama administration, they came up with a program that would protect children that came here illegally with illegal parents. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put yourself in the shoes of the children. Not even the parents, the children. We already know that the parents always skip the border, run off into some other country or something like that, become illegal in a foreign land because they're seeking better. They're seeking a better life for themselves so they can provide a better life for their children. We already know that story all too well, right? Okay, here is this now. Under the Obama administration, they came up with the DREAMers program. And the DREAMers program was that this under this program, children who came with parents that were illegal and had been here after a certain number of years could not be deported back to their country of birth. So when I say put yourself in these children's position, I'm trying to get you in the mind frame of this. It is not the child's... Like, you have no control over what your parents do, where they bring you, what they do to you or with you when you're a certain age, correct? Right. So I want you to put yourself in a position of a child that is two years old. When that child is brought into this country with two illegal parents or one. Right? All right. Mommy come from Jamaica. She... I get beaten, kicked down, box up every day. She decides, say, and she come from poverty. She decides, say, yo, me get a one thing, me I go run off. I'm get a chance to take my baby with me. So she took her child with her. The child is here in the country. Visa expire. Mommy said, no, me now go back. I'm gonna stay here and see how I can work my papers straight. The child that came here at two ends up growing up here. This child becomes 10. At 10 years old, a new administration takes over and decides that DREAMers program was unconstitutional, a violation of, and decides to do away with it, leaving all these DREAMers vulnerable to deportation. Matter of fact, not vulnerable. Actually looking forward 
to deportation. What says you about this program? I need you to leave your comment in the comment section below because I thought this was, yes, there are laws, rules and regulations put in place, but then there is the issue of common decency and love for humanity. Blah, 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 right? <laughs> I mean, that's so cliche. Nowadays, the bottom line is this way or the highway. So this story says that President Donald Trump announced today, which is Tuesday, that his administration would end an Obama-era program that allowed young, educate, young undocumented immigrants to live in the country without a fear of deportation. Calling the program, this is what Donald Trump called the program, unconstitutional, and he was challenging Congress to address the issue. Trump's decision comes after weeks of intensive deliberation with AIDS sparked fear among advocates that nearly, get this number, nearly 800,000 immigrants who have lived illegally in the United States since they were children would be subject to removal once their government-issued work permits expire under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program. So, this would affect some 800,000. That's a lot of people. And I know for a fact, right now, there are a bunch of people that are saying, kick them out. Because that's 800,000 people less on our welfare system. That's 800,000 people less to share with. So we can afford more for ours that were born here. I want you to take this into consideration. These immigrants that come here this way, they are the ones that take up the menial jobs. They're the ones that actually work cleaning up your cleaning floors and trash and toilets and picking fruits and vegetables on farms and doing the menial labor for $3 an hour when the minimum wage legally in that state is $8 an hour. They're the ones that work two and three of those jobs and congregate in four, five, six, ten, 10, and 12 in a one, two bedroom house just to be able to get by, right? So when people are talking about send them away, it'll be more for us to have for ourselves. It's not necessarily so. What I want you to think about though before you leave your comment in the comment section below, with some common decency, think about your own children. Think about if you were running away from poverty and persecution. Think about these children, period. Put yourself mentally in their shoes. At two years old, your parents made a move you had no control over. 800,000. At 10 years old, 12 years old, 15 years old, you are about to suffer the consequences and you will now live in fear. The problem with this is, people are saying, well, hell, if you've been here since two and you're 15, why the hell you're not a citizen yet? You can't file for citizenship on your own unless you're 18 years of age, man. So it's not like that 10-year-old can go fill out the paperwork for citizenship and say, hey, I've been living here since I was two um, under this Get Right program or go get themselves an attorney to get their paperwork straight or show proof that they've been living here without getting in trouble and they've been productive citizens holding down employment because they do have work permits. And now, you're, now you have to ask, how come these children have work permits but are not allowed a path to legalize their position? I want you to ask yourself that. How come they have work permits, they're issuing work permits, but not a path to legalize their position crazy crazy so 
They're saying that a wide array of politicians, civic leaders, business executives spoke out against this Trump move. They're saying that Donald Trump is wicked for doing this. He should not be doing it. To include Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and the Catholic Charities of New York. Some Democrats, including New York Attorney General Eric T. Schneiderman, vowed to pursue legal action to protect the Dreamers. President Obama had something to say on this. In a lengthy post on his Facebook page, Obama called Trump's move cruel and said that it is represented a political decision to a moral question. You have to understand that some people don't have morals. Ultimately, Obama wrote, President Obama wrote that this is about basic decency. This is exactly what I was saying in the beginning. This is about basic decency, whether we are a people who kick hopeful young strivers out of America or whether we treat them the way that we would want our own kids to be treated. It's about who we are as a people and who we want to be. We already know who certain people want to be with the whole slogan of Make America Great Again, which many people have interpreted to Make America White Again. Leave your comment in the comment section what you think about that as well. Right? I, for one, came here as a child to the United States of America. I've been thankful for the opportunity to have been able to come here as a child. I did not come here illegally. I came here perfectly legal. I came here with a green card. And my green card got turned into a citizenship where... I now have a U.S. passport and I am a citizen of the United States of America. So I don't know what that feels like firsthand, but I know what it feels like firsthand by growing up in Miami, Florida, among children that came to school paranoid because they were in fear that someone was going to knock on their door and their mom and dad were going to be swept away from them and they would eventually be going back to a country that they have never known because they've been here since they were two and three years old. So I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm not gonna keep this one too long. I'm, this is just an update to let you all know that the administration that rules now, which is the Trump administration, announces today, which is Tuesday, the end of immigration protection program for DREAMers. And I've already explained to you what the dreamers are in definition, immigration wise. Right? It's Soflow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe, leave your comment in the comment section below. The White House Press Secretary Huckabee Sanders counter Pelosi's fundraiser as the most heartless act of the day. I don't know. Politicians are still playing politics with normal people's lives. I'm out. Peace.